was producing and directing my film on the Jews of Turkey, which took several years to do. It was shot in 60 millimeter, 16 millimeter film with an Claire camera. I went to Budapest, Hungary, because I had seen some really fantastic uh, films made in Hungary by different Hungarian cameramen, and two of them came to work with me in Turkey. One was Milos, somebody, I'm blanking on his name, or Zabo Gabor. Zabo Gabor is a very well-known filmmaker or cameraman, having made many feature films that are unbelievable if you get a chance to see them. So I went in Budapest, found him, hired him and brought him to Turkey, and he worked with me almost one summer, staying over with us, and then went back to Hungary, and some unfortunate incident happened where we were all arrested while we were filming in a cemetery, and he was uh, expelled from, uh, from Turkey and couldn't come back for many years. Uh, I wasn't expelled, I was just um, whatever. It's a long story, we don't need to tell it here. But anyway, then I worked with another very excellent um, Hungarian cameraman who shot many feature-length films for important directors, and he brought with him his sound man. So it was like really great having a whole crew, a sound man, a great cameraman, and I was the director, and these tapes are in a way the residue of that work. All right, so probably I've told you enough as a beginning about these things, all of which will, I hope, be transcribed to digital means. Then they can be shared with people in Turkey, with people anywhere, by just going to the digital library that should be online. And uh, <clears throat> that's one of my goals now as I've gotten older, I'll be 80 pretty soon, to uh, in a way preserve my work for the future for people that could possibly have an interest in not just knowing about my work but about the communities that were documented, not just in Turkey but Mexico, Cuba, here in the U.S. And so film even though I'm thought of mainly as a photographer, film has always been an essential part of my work because with film you can tell a story that you're limited in telling with a still photograph because the still photograph doesn't have a sound component. Or it could, I mean, you could add a sound. So that's the goal and that's why today we're <clears throat> shooting this little sequence to give an idea of some of the things that go into preserving uh, one's uh, photographic and film legacy and trying to ensure that it won't get more moldy <laughs> going into the future because I, I don't know the way it is now with all these boxes having mold um, possibly whoever is getting this collection should just put them in new boxes if you, they can find them or plastic bags, whatever works. But once it's digitalized, then we know that it's preserved further, can be transferred easily or accessed by any number of people. And I, I have the feeling you could spend a year just analyzing what's on these tapes. I mean, there's so much information there that, you know, I'm only one person, so I can only do so much. You know, you could, it could be some, uh, a graduate student's thesis, you know, taking 70 hours worth of tape, distilling it, figuring out whatever you want to figure out, and editing, looking for the photographs in some cases that match it, match the people that are talking, because I do have those, but I no longer have the film because I couldn't carry, you know, when you say there's 70 tapes here, so if you can imagine, because people don't use film anymore, having 70 reels of film it would be like 500 pounds. And then not only the film, all these tapes were at one point pretty much transferred to 16 millimeter magnetic tracks that most people wouldn't know about today unless you're of a certain age. And that was how you edited a film. You had your film and you had your sound from the quarter inch tape transferred to a 16 millimeter magnetic track depending on which country you were in, there are different ways of reading it because some of the sound was in the center, some was on the edge, 
So you had to have all kinds of different uh, heads or know what you were doing to process this, process all this material. So that's it. Bye bye. <laughs> Unless you want to shoot just 